We've challenged ourselves now to figure out a way to see age liquor on dry land. We'll give it a try anyhow, Bill. We ain't above trying, are we? So we're gonna go to an old barn and see if we can't replicate that constant motion. Sometimes it's like being in a wind tunnel in this barn. It gets big. Show me what you got in mind here. Well, first. my first thought is clip right. that rascal around there. The best thing about this old barn is it has accessibility. We can drive right to it, and we have the owner's blessing. You know, those are crucial, crucial things in the whiskey business. Then, Mr. Chainfall. This is overkill, but we're simulating it being full. I honestly feel that aged whiskey will command $100 more per gallon. That's not a lot of money if you have to wait five years in order to get it. But if you can make 100 additional dollars in six months' time per gallon, it's a good deal for us. It'll hold it. It'll hold 3,000 pounds. Our plan is we'll use a chain fall to pull the barrels up, and then we'll suspend them on ratchet straps between the poles and the pole barn. You keep your toes out from under the tire puss in case right. it. Don't you worry about that. Whoa, you watch your toes too. <laughs> that was stupid as hell. If we can get the barrel swinging in this barn, it's perfect. All right. Now tighten that bad boy up. It's secure and it's easily accessible. We can back the truck right in to where we want to hang the barrels. I may drive back out from under it. Well, why don't you? Well, now. <laughs> Damn. You forgot I was back here, I didn't forgot you? you was hanging on. I thought you got down. I just about did. We got our barrel swinging from the rafters here now. We got to wait on the wind to get here and move it. You know, right now, everything's hanging in the balance, no pun intended. See, it's a moving a little tiny bit. I just don't know if that's enough to jostle it enough, Hattie. We look at it, we take a step back from it, and it's just hanging out there, you know, like a hire and a biscuit. It ain't really doing anything. But we need it to move, you know, about just at least that much right there. I mean, just to push with your finger, and it, it sends it moving, it sends it rocking, doing what it needs to do but uh, the wind has to do it. Digger and myself, we're not gonna be here to push it and backwards and forth. Is there any way even to check weather pattern? Let me look at the winds. I look at the aviation website. How high are we here? We're 1,327 feet. Winds at this elevation are calm. That's like this little four and five mile hour breeze. We need a windier place. Yeah. I don't know where to go, but I know for a fact the higher up you are, the more wind it blows. Mountain tops are where you get your biggest wind. We all know that. Got that old topographical map that gives us elevations all these knobs through here. I'm thinking we need to go find my old topographical map, look at the highest peaks, and then try to find a way to get up there and put some liquor somewhere to age it. We know this will work. It will. We just got to find the wind. Yeah, all the all the highest peaks though the the park service has got. Yeah, we can't be in no park. You do not do anything illegal on federal land. That gets you more time than doing the actual crime itself. Well, we got to have some place people don't infringe upon much. It's got to be secure. Digger and I grew up in these mountains here, and all these bumps and these hills are are mountain peaks, a big huge area. All the Cherokee forest. Smoky Mountains, private land, western North Carolina, eastern Tennessee. What about up here on Bradley Mountain? It's uh, nothing but houses in development now. Okay. Uh, Let's see anything right through here. See that? That's one of the highest points, National Park. National Park. Most of these tops are in government land or private land that, you know, we don't know who owns them. Rattlesnake Mountain. That's National Forest. See that Cherokee Here, National yep, Forest? Ours Cherokee. Yep, sure is. This narrows our search considerably. The fact that, yeah, the tops are there, but we don't have access to them. This is Maggie Valley right here? Yeah, this is the valley right here. Campbell Creek Road. That's up there where That's the old popcorn, popcorn site. Popcorn site's at. Yeah. Huh. Look here. There's Catalucci. It's all private owned. It is. The highest peak of it is. There's a ski resort there. Yeah, but just over here, you know what's right there, don't you? That's Ghost Town. That's Ghost Town. The place we're looking at is the old Ghost Town. It's an old theme park. And that might work for us, Puss. Yep. 
It was a shoot 'em up town. It was old west shootouts on every corner, every two hours. It was a place every kid wanted to go when he was our age back years ago. And it's abandoned, Digger, eh? And it's got gates on the road. It's private owned. It is private owned. You know, I've got a lot of fond memories from Ghost Town. When I was a kid, you know who's watching after that property up there now, don't you? Cowboy. Cowboy. How out of place is a wooden barrel going to look in the place called Ghost Town? Ghost Town is an abandoned theme park from the early 60s. And uh, you know, what makes Ghost Town so ideal for us is it's behind the lock gate. It has a road leading directly to it. It's not accessible to the public, and it's on a mountaintop. So for what we need it for, it's the perfect solution to our problem. I ain't seen old Cowboy since Popcorn was still alive. Cowboy got his nickname because he was a gunfighter at Ghost Town. He was one of the first employees there. He's always been the caretaker. Every time it's changed hands, they've always entrusted Cowboy with keys and with the property. But you know, if anybody knows about Ghost Town, it's Cowboy. He always told me he's the first man blaze trail in there. He's an icon. What do you need me for? Uh, well, we think you're the only one that may be able to help us. Well, if I can, I will. I know you to... will. We want to get in up there on top of the mountain at the old ghost town. What do you want up there for, in that old place? Well, you know we was with it, me and Popcorn and Mark, and all of us. You know what we was into. I know what you're into. I know. Well, you know, it don't hurt us any by the fact that Cowboy uh, was friends with Popcorn Sutton. We'll tell him what we have in mind. We don't want to keep any secrets from him. We got some barrels we want to take up there oh, and let them yeah. age. Yeah. The weather changes up there drastic oh, and we're yeah. wanting to we're wanting to age your liquor up there. And yeah. you know as well as anybody yeah. when that when that weather changes, that barometric oh. pressure drops, that liquor goes in now that yeah, wood. And, that your work and we're gonna try to set it somewhere where it'd wobble around like yeah. you know it was on the ocean. And the wind blows up here, yeah. And we need that That's that weather changing yeah. drastic yeah. every day or so. It's good. What's the weather like up there? Does it well, change quick? Oh it? Lord, it can be hot today and cold tomorrow and the wind to be blowing. That's what you need to win blowing in. These are the things that we wanted to hear. This is what we're looking for. We know that it'd be safe up there yeah, because, yeah. you know, we, nobody can get to it. Yeah. And the thing that well, we want more than anything, well, we want you to be the only one that knows well, that they're there. Well, nobody know why it's none of our business. I know. Well, we trust you with everything we got. Do you care to let us in up there? And... I'll let you in and let you out. They won't nobody know nothing. I know where to turn the cameras off and turn them on. Well, we appreciate yeah. that. Cowboy said yes. I couldn't be any happier if the mayor of this town handed me the keys to the city.